How many comedians does it take to screw in a light bulb? Three. One to actually do it, and the other two to tell him how they could have done it better. How many car salesmen does it take to screw in a light bulb? Doesn't matter, whichever car salesman gets to you first, you're going to get screwed. How many Vietnam War veterans does it take to screw in a light bulb? You don't know, man. You weren't there. You weren't there. I'm actually already surprised I got to perform on a stage without a beer and a cigarette in Vegas. I thought this is the only place we could still do this. But I understand he doesn't want to get his shit messed up, so I respect that. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Dustin Burrell. I was born in Idaho. LDS, no fucking surprise there. <laughs> I swear, the only two states that can migrate with business between the LDS Mormons is Idaho and Utah. They just, like, segregate everything to, like, a corporation that won't extend out of those two states so they can still monopolate the north, more Northwest. What do you, I'm going back to the joke that I tested on this guy. What do you call two turtles having sex? Slow pokes. They got shells. How are you going to do it quick? I'd be confused if I was a turtle. I'd be like, where the hell's the hole? <laughs> Where's all my drinkers? Give me a cheer. Where's all my potheads? Give me a cheer. Okay, that's a little more exciting. Where's all the missionaries that are LDS? I wouldn't think they'd be here either because they're not choosing the right. I can actually do a ref of any sport out there with that little cricket noise. I can actually be a PE coach without the fucking whistle. Traveling. Double dribble. Goaltending. I used to watch over mentally challenged handicapped adults. And I remember the worst scene was is I'd play one-on-one -on -one basketball with my special guy. But the saddest scene is at the end of the game, I fucking lost. Nobody thinks that's funny? No basketball players? It's all right. We'll warm it up. <laughs> if crystal meth could talk... Do you think it would say, can you smell what the rock is cooking? Okay. Now would be a good time to talk to a chick because it's quiet enough. I won't mind. One minute left. Darn. Actually, I'm going to end on some musical note because... It's been inspirational to hear so many musical artists tonight. This is my parody of the Little Mermaid song because Ariel was shut off from society because the dumb bitch had fins. <laughs> this is what it would be like for a homeless guy that wants to be part of society and get off the drugs and just be normal. So this is a homeless guy singing part of your world. Look at it now. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my drug collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a homeless guy? <clears throat> Who's got everything? I got tutors and syringes and booze and coke. Unfortunately, I dropped it all on your floor. I got heroin spoons if you need 20. But who cares? Nothing helps. I need more. I want to go where those people go far. I can't meet up with you because I don't own a car. Walking around in those, uh, what do they call them? Shoes. Up where they walk, up where they talk. Watching me do sexual favors for my wrong. <laughs> Wish I could be. Part of society and be part of your world.
Thank you, Money Plays. You have a good night, huh?